Discerning Hearts provides content dedicated to those on the spiritual journey. To continue production of these videos, prayers, and more, go to discerninghearts.com and click the donate link found there or inside the free Discerning Hearts app to make your donation. Thanks and God bless. Discerning Hearts, in cooperation with the Poor Clare Nuns of the Monastery of Our Lady of Guadalupe and Cluny Media, presents excerpts from Come, Lord Jesus, Meditations on the Art of Waiting, written by Mother Mary Francis. In this episode, Mother Mary Francis talks about joyful penitence. My dear sisters, in this third week of Advent following upon Gaudete Sunday, we find a deep call, a profound call, to the understanding of penance. I think the Church is trying to teach us that real penance is always characterized by joy, that joy is a property of penance. When we look at penitence, we should perhaps list many properties, many characteristics and effects of penance, and we can all develop this in prayer. For today, I'd like to linger a bit on three outstanding characteristics and effects of penance, three of which I would venture to say are the most prominent. They are both property and effect. They are both descriptive of what is there and are a function of what is there. These three are purpose, alertness, and joy. Now, when we really become aware of how much we need to do penance, of how much we have sinned and are at fault, we could question, if we look at it in a superficial way, how we could be joyful. Would we not grow sadder and sadder? But no, this is not true. And so let us look at the first property and effect, purpose. Real penance is always purposeful, and this characteristic is also an effect. That is, the more we truly realize our state of penitence, the more purpose we have to amend. We know that in the sacrament of penance, we cannot be absolved from our sins if we do not have a firm purpose of amendment. Contrition is not real. It is not only incomplete, but it is not real if there is no true purpose of amendment. This does not mean that we may not fall again, but it does mean that I am full of purpose, that I'm not going to go out like this, that I am not going to keep doing this. That is what characterizes real penance. A weak wailing about my faults with no evident purpose to do anything about them has nothing to do with penance. It has a lot to do with cowardice. It has a lot to do with pride, and it is an expression of a lack of purposefulness. But real penance is a driving force. We see this dramatically in our father, St. Francis. He wept because love is not loved. He just could not get over this, and he was so driven by this that love was not loved enough by him. He went on with such purpose that in the sacred stigmata, Love finally broke out all over him. Real penitence can always be detected or its absence noted by purposefulness or the lack of it. Purposefulness shows the presence of penance. I am really going to do something about all the wrong I have done, all the poor responses I have made, all my defects. That same purposefulness is an effect of penance. That is, the more penitent we are, the more purposeful we become. And the more purposeful we are, the deeper is our understanding of penance. It is the person of little purpose who doesn't see much need to do penance. The second characteristic and effect of penance is, manifestly, alertness. A person who is penitent, who is growing into understanding of her great sinfulness, her notable faultiness, is a person who is very alert for occasions to make reparation to God. Whereas the person who is not aware in a purposeful way of her own defects and deficiencies inevitably has a very sharp eye for real or supposed deficiencies in others and is very unalert, that is, does not even recognize occasions for reparation. 
we miss the point so often. Our Lord is giving us an opportunity to make reparation in this act of humility for our many acts of pride, because we have been so often impatient. He is arranging this occasion for us to make reparation by patience, and so on. The person who has a sense of being penitent, of needing to do penance, will be very alert for these. This alertness and this purposefulness are joined and conjoined. We see this purposefulness in the tax collector Zacchaeus and in his determination to do something about penance. He didn't say, I'm sorry. I was a victim of circumstance and all my forebears have lived like this and some of them did worse than I did. And let me tell you what some of these others did. Instead, he became a real penitent, a man of purpose. He was going to pay back everything and pay it back fourfold He was so alert to see how he could do this. Zacchaeus is also an outstanding model of the third characteristic of true penance, which is joy. Up there in his tree, Zacchaeus fully saw what a rotter he had been. He had no taste at all for saying what other people were doing, but he saw what he did. He became this man of purpose, and he became so alert to opportunities for reparation that he said he was going to pay back fourfold. And he was obviously joyous. You can see him scrambling down out of the tree and going off to lunch with Christ, very penitent and very joyful. The remembrance of our sins and our faults, if we have true penitence, never begets bitterness, never begets melancholy. It always begets purpose, alertness, and joy. This is what is so deeply in my heart during these Advent days, which I want you to take deeply into your own heart, your own reflection, your own prayer. If we look at this in reverse, when we are not joyful, we can always know that we are not penitent. When we are not alert to make reparation for our sins and our faults, it is because we do not have any real prayerful awareness of them. We simply see a situation that calls for effort that I do not want to make. A situation that calls for generosity, I am not prepared to give. A situation that calls for me to be humble myself in a way that I do not wish. But the penitent sees something so different, and the penitent is joyful. You see the real penitent always ready to go, full of purpose, full of alertness, full of joy. Like St. Francis, we are called to be joyful penitents. You've been listening to an excerpt from Come, Lord Jesus, Meditations on the Art of Waiting. For more episodes in this series, visit discerninghearts.com, or you can find it inside the free Discerning Hearts app. To obtain a copy of the book, Come, Lord Jesus, visit cluneymedia.com. Discerning Hearts is a 501c3 nonprofit Catholic apostolate dedicated to evangelization and spiritual formation. To learn how you can support our mission, visit discerninghearts.com.